All right, folks, this is uh, the first in what should be a fairly long series of educational shorts going to the uh, subscription section on my uh, profile here. So <clears throat> if you manage to catch this live, awesome. If you want to go back and watch this later, that's what that whole thing is about. So you can go to my profile, click subscribe, and for the price of a cheeseburger a month, you can get access to this and a whole lot more. So... What's the whole purpose of what we're doing here today? Well, we're going to pretend that we have misset some rivets. So some intrepid internet stranger has informed us that our buckle is on upside down. And, uh, you know, they did their research, so we need to remove this thing. What do we do? Okay. How do we remove a burr rivet? Now, these are tricky because drilling out a solid shank is really low percentage. You normally end up, uh, you know, burning your leather. Things don't go well. Not to mention metal shavings plus leather aren't a great fit. Um, what do we do about this? Well, take your humble Osborne scratch all. This is a, I don't know, about a three and a half. Okay. Oh, and I should point out, okay, we can't get a bite on this. We can't actually cut the end of this thing off. So if you can, awesome, but you usually can't. So how do we remove this? We take our scratch all, we set it as close to the rivet shank as you can get it, okay, in at an angle. Now you'll hit it with a hammer a couple times, right? You've got to hit it enough that it actually cuts through the burr. And we typically will need to do this Oh, three or four times, depending on the quality of the set. And you may come across this, you know, in repair work. There's a lot of reasons you have to remove a copper rivet from time to time. Um, okay, and that should do it. Just like that, okay? Now, if you want to be a little bit more dynamic, you can usually get that done in maybe two hits if they're bigger ones, but that can be a little bit more destructive to the, uh, the leather underneath. And this is about the most reliably non-destructive way that you can remove these. It'll work on copper. It'll work on brass. It works to a limited degree on steel. Works really well on aluminum and on smaller size stuff. So again, I've just worked my way around. That burr comes off. Now, if you can, nip them now, if you can reach, go ahead. This one might be, I don't know, we can get that one too. All right, so now you can come here And pop them out. And uh, the total damage is a little bit of awling around where that burr is. And when you set the new rivet, it will reinforce over the top of that. In fact, I'll set one over the top so you can see what that looks like. And uh, the removal and replacement will be invisible. So... So those have been removed and replaced, and you can't tell, and that's what we're here for. Hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, if you want to go back and re-watch uh, this, it will be up in the subscriber section shortly. Thanks so much.